hey, why don't we have our own theme song? Every special agent I know has their own theme song. That's a great idea. Okay, how about... <gasps> We're Agent J and Agent R, catching the villains that are at large. Yeah, they're really large, so they're really tall. So we have to get a really big net, but we have it because we're special agents and we have all the things that we need. Hang on for the loop! I'm Ricky, but you can call me Agent R. I'm Jamie or Agent J. I like my Slim Jim smoothies shaken, not stirred, and in the trash because it's gross. True. Our current mission is to uncover the location of Agent Q, who mysteriously went missing. All we have from him right now is this postcard that doesn't make any sense. We'll find you, Agent Q! Speaking of which, we got another transmission from Agent Q's wristwatch camera. I'll pull it up. I'm so glad you guys found my postcard. And I'm so glad that I thought a while ago, if I'm ever captured for trying to steal the Declaration of Independence, I should come up with an elaborate series of codes and clues for people to reveal my location. I mean, that is really paying off in a very entertaining way. Oh, so to find the next clue, you're gonna need to get into my stylish briefcase. You know the one, it's like super stylish and it looks like it's full of secrets. It is full of secrets. It's locked though, so you'll only have five minutes to crack that baby open and get inside and get those clues. It's got a combination on it, so here's what it is. It's, uh, someone else is coming. I can't, I, you'll find the combination, I'm sure you will, you're super smart. There's one other thing I was gonna tell you. I've had this 80s song stuck in my head. It goes, I wear my sunglasses at night so I can't, so I can't. She can roll the visions in my eyes. Hmm, I wonder why he has that song stuck in his head. Well, it could be a clue. I mean, at this point in time, almost anything could be a clue. I mean, even this next segment. There is an invisible struggle between good and evil. Jesus made it clear that we should always be aware the spiritual realm exists. Though hard to understand, it is a matter of life or death, and it involves you and me. Our mission is clearly stated in this verse. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. But you can't do it on your own, special agents. In this invisible struggle of truth versus lies, you need all the help you can get. Good news, it's time to suit up. God's got some gear for you. This gear is highly classified. Equip yourself to take a stand. And never forget, Good always wins. So, you've been trying to do the right thing, right? You're trying to do what's good, but you realize that over and over again, you keep messing up, you keep failing. And then you try again and you fail again. In the age old invisible battle between good and evil, between truth and lies, you realize that you need all the help you can get. But here's the good news, is that God has some gear for you, and it's time to suit up. Let's start by knowing God's truth, because that's the quickest way to erase lies. So wrap God's truth around you like a utility belt. So righteousness is not a word that we hear on a daily basis, but it's something you know when it's not present. We say things like, that's not right, or, what they're doing, that's not right. You see, God has a very clear definition of what is right. So aim for that target and cover your heart with his order like a vest. Have you ever felt so overwhelmed by fear that you can't move? Or, or do you just let worry stop you in your tracks? Yeah, I know the feeling. I do it all the time. But whenever worry or fear try to poison you, guess what? God's peace is the antidote. So lace up your shoes and take that calming cure wherever you go, because there is nothing as calming as the peace 
of God. As followers of Jesus, we need protection. We can trust with confidence that God is for us and God is with us every single day. You see, God's promises are real. God's promises in the Bible are real and true for your life and where you are right now. And when you have confidence and trust in who God is and His faithfulness, it will shield you like a faith force field from any danger that might come your way. So salvation literally means to be saved. So what are you being saved from? Well, God wanted us to be with Him forever, but our sins separated us from Him. So God became man, died on a cross, and rose again three days later so that your sins could no longer keep you away from Him. And when you believe that, when you ask for God's forgiveness, you receive His salvation. And for those of us who have done that, we don't need to second guess it. We don't need to be insecure about it. Believe in your heart and in your mind that God sent Jesus to rescue you. And that's it. It's, it's, it's done, it can't be undone. He's not going to change his mind. When you receive his salvation, it's yours forever. So you don't need to raise your hand every time the pastor asks who wants to accept Jesus. You don't need to renew anything. It's, it's, it's there, it's done. God chose you. You choose him. It's a done deal. You don't have time for mind games. So don't get lost in overthinking it. You know your mission. Stay the course and see things for what they really are. Look at all the pictures on the wall. Oh. Ooh, and the fake people. Okay. All right, five minutes. No lasers. Okay, okay. we're good. Um, all right. Do numbers they have, are places. Written on their shirt. Okay, let me check their pockets. Pardon me. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, there's a flashlight in here. Okay, so they're. Okay, it's not working. Jamie, there are, there are numbers on the wall, but they're out of place. Could be. I have. I found a <gasps> flashlight. Oh, okay. Ugh. Okay, yeah. There's no batteries. All right. Pardon me. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I feel something in here. I'm hoping it's the battery. Oh, it is. Okay, great. So this is an eight, and this is a three, and there goes where this awesome. should be. Awesome. Is this ultraviolet? Is that what this is called? I think it. It's ultraviolet. <laughs> eight, okay, I'm gonna check their their three. suits to see. Okay, okay, nothing on this one. Let's Ooh, try. Jamie, keep... maybe we need to turn the lights off. That's a great idea. Sunglasses at night. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Here okay. we go. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking. Oh, I see an R. Oh, there's letters. Oh, okay, Ricky, there's a U, there's another U, there's an L, there's an R, and there's a D. Okay, what do you think U, U, L, R, D U, might mean? U, wait. Okay, U. so since it's a directional lock, we have a U, so that's gotta be up, and then there's another U up, uh, L for oh. up, left, R for right, and then D for down. Give it a go. Okay, up, so. Up, left, right, down. <laughs> up, up, left, right, down. Up, up, up left, up. right, down. Left. Left. Right. Right. Down. Down. Oh, it opened up, it opened. Yes, okay. Yay, what, yay, yay. All right, what's in it? Is it more picture frames? Uh, here, I'm gonna hit the lights. Okay. Okay. Ooh, there is a briefcase inside. Is, is it ticking? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, good. Good question. Okay, it's a combination lock this time, so we need numbers to open this up. Oh, that's what the, oh good, it's the numbers that matter, okay. Um, all right, things are alike. Oh, and they're separated, right and left. Yes. So, or left and right. Mm -hmm. So maybe the left code's over here and the right code's over here. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, oh look, but two, we have two Bibles. Two, and, two people holding a Bible. Look, there's, uh, the females are on the left side, males are on the, the right side, and that's how the mannequins are set up. Two boots and two helmets. <gasps> okay. So let's go with that. So we have, we have this, we have this, we have this, and then we have this, we have this and this. Um, <laughs> okay. Eight, Ooh, five. wait, wait. Don't try that thing yet. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. 174. 174. 
All right, one, seven, four. <gasps> oh, that side yes. open. Okay. Okay, so right. eight, three, five is what I have for. No, try five, three, eight. Five, three, eight. Whoa, yes. it's open, it's open. Okay, so now we have. More. More Secrets? decoding to do. What is this? <gasps> These are decoders. These will help us uh, solve the clue from the uh, laser room. But there's so many of them. Usually there are. decoders are just singular and in the shape of rings. Yeah, I think we need to get the card and we need to try these out on them and see what it decodes. And then we'll get the puppy. Uh, hopefully. Are, are we and not Agent Q. A... Yes, Agent Q. That's okay. right. We, we're, we're here to save Agent Q, not get an adorable new puppy. Ready? Ready. Okay, let's go. Oh, crawling out was a great idea. It just helps to feel more spy-like. Did we do it in five minutes? So what do we do? Learn God's word and apply it. Learn God's word and apply it. We learn God's word and we apply it. That's how we stay sharp. Stay sharp. Well, when you face day-to-day -day struggles, equip God's truth, His righteousness, God's peace, faith, and salvation to cover up your life like armor. To cover us like armor. That's how we suit up. And when we suit up, then everyone, everyone seen and unseen, will know which side you're on. I mean, one of these decoders has to match the postcard, but which one? Sounds like something we're gonna have to figure out next time. I mean, he could have just told us which one it was. I mean, honestly, why? Could I just say? Hey, How do you face your struggles? If you wanna face anything and everything, suit up. Equip truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation. That's the gear God gave you to stand and be strong. Good always wins. Sunglasses on? Ooh, ha-ha! <laughs> Enjoy, Enjoy the ride! ride.